Hey guys, Tom here with CellPhoneTrack.com and today we have the benchmark test for the Motorola Atrix 4G. It's an LTE enabled device with a dual core 1 GHz processor with a Tegra 2 chipset. It also has 1 GB of RAM with 16 GB of onboard uh, memory storage. It does not ship with an SD card, however any amount of uh, memory card that you put on there is just going to add to that 16 GB. So very, very impressive phone right out of the box. We're gonna do a benchmark test real quick and show you what kind of scores we come up with and how well it stacks against other top devices for AT&T and other Android 2.2 devices. So let's get into it. So here we go, we have the Motorola Atrix 4G. I've already run a benchmark test here, uh, telling us our current score is a score of 25, 2529, sorry, it's kind of very small print, it's hard for you to see. Uh, best one we have up next to that is the Nexus One with the 2.2 at 1250. So we have 2500 versus 1250. This thing is basically twice as good as the Nexus One with the 2.2 update. Below Nexus One, we have the Droid X 2.2, Evo 2.2, regular Droid X, Samsung Galaxy S, probably Android 2.1. Um, I've got another device here I'm going to bring in real quick. We have the Desire HD slash Inspire 4G for AT&T. This is the Inspire 4G. We're going to go ahead and run a full benchmark. While it's doing that, we'll go ahead and run a new benchmark as well. Basically what it does is it puts the phone through some standardized testing to see how well um, it can handle these you know, tests and then it comes up with a score and then it can compare the score against other top devices and determine which one really can handle and do uh, the best. Uh, it can handle everything from um, video playback and rendering and 3D graphics and processing and read write information and processor speeds and things of that nature. There we go, Let's see what happens. And it failed. I'm gonna force the close here. That's, that's not cool. Let's try that again. Proceed. And we have a speed of, let me bring this up closer to me, 2696. So that is fairly impressive. Sometimes the application doesn't work. We've restarted this one here. But 2696 for a benchmark test, this is. That is extremely fast, extremely well. I don't know of another device currently on the market that actually reaches that high. Uh, so if you're definitely looking for a fast, great, great device, uh, the Atrix 4G by Motorola for AT&T, definitely something to check out. Uh, I don't know if I'm in an L LTE enabled area, but trust me, tonight I'm gonna find out because we just picked this up today. So let's check it out and will it work? Nope, it failed, I gotta fix this. I've been having this issue with the benchmark test all day, so. But basically I've been getting scores of, on average, between 17 and 1800 on here. So, you know, at 26 versus 18, you know, that's an 800 point difference. And still this one was, and I thought this device was really good, but it still is, the Inspire 4G is a great device. But it goes to show you what a one gigahertz processor and a Tegra 2 chipset, dual core, Cortex 8A9 processor can do, you know, it's 800 points worth of difference right in here. So, we'll go ahead and check this out. Again, the HX 4G, great device for AT&T. Again, I'm Tom with CellPhoneTrek.com. Go ahead and put comments below of what you thought about the benchmark test and also tell us what you'd like to know about the Atrix 4G. Be more than happy to hear your suggestions so we can put those in the review. Again. We're on Facebook and Twitter, check us out there. At Cell Phone Trek is our Twitter handle and facebook.com backslash cell phone trek. Like us there and you'll be entered into some of our random free giveaways that we have. So, you know, free stuff, not a bad idea. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you have yourself a great day.